So I finished this game recently and uh, I, I want to pick up my keyboard and smash it into little bits. My body is filled with anger and rage. Please help me. For this video, I want to take you on a small little nostalgia trip. Hollow Knight. I love this game to bits. I mean, are you surprised? But when I 100% completed it, the only thing I wanted was just more of it because it's just so goddamn good. So I decided to pick up my Switch and look around on the eShop for games that look similar to Hollow Knight and in the corner of my eyes I saw this game flash by called Rain World. What I was expecting was a huge rich open world with a bunch of fun challenging platforming and tough but fair boss battles. But instead I got cheap one shot kills, a half explained moveset and a lot and I do mean a lot of RNG. This whole game is built on this single little baby word. Rain World is not afraid to give out punches, it wants to piss you off, it wants you to restart from your checkpoint. There have been so many moments where I just walked away from my switch out of frustration. And after a dozen of cheap deaths, I reached my limit. I was done. No more. Now let's fast forward to the year 2019. I uploaded a classic FOCO approved Oscar nominated Hollow Knight video. It's still a pretty good explanation to why I like this game so much but in the comments section I had this one guy. Um, I don't know if you know him, his name is Pyro from Team Fortress 2, um, something like that. And all it said was play Rain World. Since I stopped playing back in 2017 it has always been stuck in my head and this dumb little comment has always been haunting me in the background. So recently I decided to man up, bought the game on Steam and I was gonna complete this game. And honestly, oh my god, it, it's really good. Before I start praising this game, I like to point out that a rain world is weird. The best way I can describe this game is with the word unique. It's very different from anything else out there. With most games, you have a basic idea of what to do. Go over here, kill the bad guy, solve this puzzle. But rain world barely tells you anything. You get some basic tutorials like how to eat, pound, sleep, pick up stuff, but that's it. The rest is all up to your own interpretation. You don't know what your purpose is, where to go the game tells you jack shit but this is really one of its strong points when you see something new in any other game they usually show it off in a cutscene or in a controlled environment this game on the other hand just throws them at you have fun with a dickhead you see that snake looking thing over there well the game doesn't tell you what it does it might kill you it might help you you don't know go figure it out what about this tumor with tentacles what does this thing do what about these little balls or this long ass mosquito the game just says I don't know every time you find something new you feel tense you don't know what it does and you really don't want to die dying in this game is very punishing you basically need to take a gamble and sometimes that gamble can feel amazing and other times you feel betrayed the fact that you need to experiment with certain things to find out what it does makes the game really scary I'm not even joking you're in this depressed dark broken world with a bunch of weird monsters around you that all want to eat you and slug cat which is this uh, little white worm you play as is on the bottom of the food chain almost everything is against you but that's not to say that you're worthless you can completely dominate these enemies if you're smart about it here's another thing that makes rain world a phenomenal experience the ai in this game is really good like for real really really good each entity has its own little routine even if they are off screen they will walk around looking for food and they spawn in different places every time you wake up you can scare them away you can feed them even tame them and let them become your pets it's absolutely crazy how deep this system goes and i haven't even touched the surface of it myself the game is also supported by this weird as over complicated movement system you can roll slide tunnel boost dash turn water hop there is so much depth here with just a few keys it's insane and the game tells you nothing might i say again you need to experiment with its controls yourself the rain world community has made this whole document that explains everything you can do and i'm not gonna lie i can't do any of this this garbage is so hard to pull off for real but learning it is super rewarding since it means you can navigate the terrain of the world better it's extremely difficult to learn but it pays off big time and you 
can also backflip. Like, come on. I feel extremely mixed over Rain World. On one side, I think it's amazing and everyone should at least check it out. But on the other side, it's a hard-ass game. People drop it after only playing it for a few hours. And I don't blame them. I did it myself back in 2017. When I first played Rain World, I thought it was complete crap. You get punished for stuff you aren't even in control of. And it doesn't even say sorry. But this is kind of the magic behind it. The game is extremely unforgiving for a reason and the more you play it the more you come to appreciate it. The artwork is beautiful, the AI is masterfully crafted, the movement system is insane. Seriously what is going on here? It's not without its flaws but this is a quality ass game and it's super underrated. Hey look at me guys I'm Foco Slugcat. I'm a mother- oh okay yeah, this game sucks never mind. <laughs>